Uh, praise the Lord, dear friends. Thomas Manton IV here, continuing in prophetic affirmations. The Lord gave me this title a few days ago. Um, it's very much needed. We need to pray. We need to produce spiritual offspring. We need to produce spiritual completions, natural manifested completions of projects. We need to produce warfare that breaks enemies. We need to cause new beginnings to new seasons. We need to uh, affirm people in their upbringing that they can come up to the high levels that God wants them to be living and moving and being at. Living and moving and being. I, in Him I live and move and have my being. The scripture said, we need to uh, stop wasting any time or playing any kind of game in our heads about what needs to be accomplished. We need to get very aggressive. As my little sign says here, there's a check mark if you can see it, just do it. Bless you all that are coming on. I got to get right in the flow. Here's a little check mark then. You know that sign there? It means just do it. I have a picture of me standing in front of that in, in New York City at, the, at their big store. And uh, I, I, I just got to post that photo again. And, and as a message to you, just do it. There are uh, a, a number of things that need to be fulfilled that we need to stop wasting time, my friend. And I want to read to you some scriptures. I, I want to say this. The devil cannot win any battle with you. Remember, uh, uh, was it Isaiah 54 verse 17 said, The weapon formed against you shall prosper. And everything that rises up against you, every tongue, everything, you condemn it and you crush it as my servant. Because this is my heritage for you. In other words, basically God is saying, I've given you the power. I'm giving you the might. I'm giving you the dominion. My God, I feel the anointing here. Fire upon you, my friend. Release the touch. Get out of all depression, all kinds of things, you know. And there's some things, you know, the Lord could be leading you. You know things to do, but you don't do them enough. One of them is prayer. Another is fasting. Another is, you know, spending time in the Word. Spending time in the... Uh, The word, you know. And I, I, you know, I do that. You know, I listen to the word for many hours in a day. Uh, I, I listen to the word many hours in a day. And you know, I'll give you a little, little secret. I'm not always sitting in a lounge chair or a coffee shop, you know, reading scripture for like eight hours a day. But you know when I do it? I listen to the scripture and I, and I began doing this again all night long. I have a huge television. I turn off the picture mode and put it on audio mode. And I let the scriptures play while I'm sleeping. It helps me sleep better. It causes me to go into a deep sleep and a deep focus. And I'm listening to the word. I have it loud enough that I can hear it. Not real low, so it's like subliminal, no. Loud, so it's clear in my ears all the time I'm sleeping. And I'll tell you, you'll wake up feeling refreshed, but you know that you're building your inner man. And I want to do a whole series on, I've been wanting to do this for some time, I want to do a whole series on uh, uh, different topics of the Bible from the scripture with some affirmations. Man, I'm going to get to it, I'm going to do it. And I have the titles that I want to deal with. I haven't known anybody to do one just on wealth and finance and prosperity from the scripture or authority and dominion and might and power. You know, the, the power scriptures, then the warfare scriptures, then our place in Christ scriptures, then the healing scriptures, then the deliverance scriptures, all of those different, the things that really make your life roll forward, you know. But I feel... 
I want to I want to subtitle this one warfare. But not from a negative point of view, but from a positive point of view, like in the realm of breakthrough. Maybe it could be breakthrough to warfare, but I I'm thinking about this thought. I'm not thinking about just our battle against evil, you know, light versus darkness and the spiritual battle we're in and the heavenly places on the earth, but I'm thinking too about ways that we can break through in our own walk every day to uh conquer everything that needs to be conquered and complete every project that needs to be completed and do everything that needs to be done and be everything we need to be and say everything we need to say and do everything we need to do you know what i mean and there's power for that let me read a couple of verses to you James 4:7 says submit yourself to God. Well this is this is it and resist the devil and he'll flee. So how much can you submit yourself? One way is that you're submitting yourself to the heavenly vision. And he said you are of God, my children, for and greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. 1 John 4:4. 2 Corinthians 10:3:4 and 5 a, a passage of scripture I'm always re, always quoting teaching so much out of the weapons of our fight are not carnal but on the contrary we have divine power to demolish strongholds that stronghold may be in your house it may be in your mind it may be in your physical body maybe in your environment and atmosphere but the lord <laughs> the lord has given us power to conquer it, conquer it all and to demolish arguments and every high thing every wrong thought every pretension fake thing also this fake news and all these lies and untruths that go on and deceptions that go on in the world people trying to deceive you and steal from you and divert you and keep you from God's best oh they need to be broken and crushed and smashed to, to nothings to nothingness nothing nothings and nothingness i said it right Anything that comes against the knowledge of God, we take it captive and put it where it needs to be, out of our space and place. Well, I don't even like that one. Here, let me go right to Isaiah 54:17. I said this before. No weapon that is formed against you will prosper and every tongue that accuses you or rises up against you in judgment you will condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and your vindication is from me declares the Lord. Ooh Lord. Ephesians 6:10 to 17. Finally my brother and be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. That you may be able to stand against all kinds of rubbish and nonsense in this world. I said that from my mind, but let me read here from this verse here. Put on the whole armor of God verse 11 that you'll take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, authorities, wicked spirits, powers of darkness in this world and spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Heavenly places. He said, "Put on the whole armor of God that you'll be able to stand having done all to stand." Oh yes. Stand firm then. with the belt of truth the breastplate of righteousness your feet fit with the readiness of the gospel of peace the shoes of peace the shield of faith that you can quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one and the helmet of salvation and the seventh the sword of the spirit which is the word of god And verse 18 says again it's not here written but I'm reading it from my memory. He said praying in all kinds of prayers and intercessions, all types of prayers. You need to be doing that all the time. Isn't it wonderful how the Lord does in sevens, the seven spirits of God, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, counsel, might, understanding, counsel, might, yeah, the fear of the Lord. Plus the spirit of the Lord. That's Isaiah 11:2. And then Revelation 5:12, one of my favorites is power, riches, wisdom, might or strength, uh uh blessing, glory and honor. And then of course, to help us have dominion. Those are seven things again. 
777. You know, it's it's wonderful. Completion number. And eight, the number of new beginnings. So you have the victory. Use these things. We got we have to do it. I'm giving you exercise here, some affirmations to exercise your victory. Romans 8:37. And all these things were more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. Zechariah 4, 6, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. The victory is wrought, says the Lord, you know. The Lord is faithful. He'll strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. 2 Thessalonians 3, 3. Luke 10, 19, another favorite. I like them all. But here it is. Behold, I've given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Luke 10, 19. John 10, 10. That devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. We know him. The belligerent loser. Ha, 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 ha. But I have come to give you life and that more abundantly. Pabro shakate debo satarabahaya. Jesus. I'm going to pick this up in another segment. My been out and about. My battery seems to be going low and I don't have one charger with me. Apologies to the big boss up, 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 up above. Father, thank you. See my screen dimming here, but I know we're still on. Deuteronomy 28, 7. The Lord will cause the enemies who rise against you to, to be defeated before you. And they'll flee from you seven ways, even though they came one way. John 16, 33, I've told you these things that you may have peace because in this world, if you have trouble, take heart, I've overcome the world. Be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. 1 Corinthians 10, 13, God will cause a way of escape and give you power for endurance to endure anything in this world that's trying to dissuade you and delude you and divide you and derail you and deny you and delay you. You have victory over it. Don't be overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Keep doing good, it's basically what it's saying. It's also a seed you reap from, Romans 12, 21. John 8, 32, you'll know the truth and the truth will make you free, oh yes. Revelation 12, 11. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Yes, Lord. 1 Corinthians 6, 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of eternal life. Take hold of your place in the kingdom. Matthew 6, 18. Upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it, Jesus said. They cannot prevail against us, no. 1 John 3, 8, the reason that the Son of God appeared or was manifested was to destroy the devil's works. That's powerful. For that reason, the Son of God appeared to us and was manifested for us and on the earth to destroy the devil's works. 1 John 3, 8. You need strength and energy? Here it is, Isaiah 40, 31. Wait on the Lord and you'll renew your strength. You be weary, it seems, but you'll not be weary anymore. You'll actually run and not be weary, the scripture said. And you will walk and not faint because of the strength that God's given you. As you wait on the Lord, you're renewing your strength. His presence, His power is touching you and giving you new strength, my friend. Isaiah 40, 31. Joshua 23, 10. The men can put to flight a thousand. For it's the Lord our God who fights for us as he's promised us. Deuteronomy 3, 22. This is powerful. Listen to this. Do not fear anyone. For it's the Lord your God. He is the one who is fighting for you. 
I'm going to say it again. Do not fear anyone. But know this, it is the Lord our God who is fighting for us. Fighting for you, fighting for me. Deuteronomy 3.22. What do we say to these things? Romans 8.31. If God is for us, who can be against us? Nobody. Through you we'll push back our adversaries. And we'll trample down those who rise up against us. Psalm 44, verse 5. I'll leave you with this right now, and I'm going to come back at another segment of this. Have not I commanded you, be strong and courageous. For the Lord God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Father, I thank you for your presence, your power, that we have the victory in Jesus' name. Thank you for these words as we speak them. They create new things in the spirit. John 6, 63 said, These words I speak to you, they're spirit and they are life. And they're producing life and new things. Prophetic Affirmations, Volume 3. Thank you for being my partner. And please do get the book, The Benefits of Excellence, along with, this, with the DVD, The Power to Create Wealth. And do I have one here? Okay. It comes with the power to create wealth, a very special gift. It's on our website right now. On, and you could also be a partner there and so on. ThomasManton.com Please do that. Please do that. And I'll see you on the next broadcast right here. God bless you. I love you. Praying for you. You have the victory, my friend, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Waiting to hear from you. You can write me prayer requests. You can call me uh, on plus one seven four seven two six three two four eight four for any prayer requests or any uh, private messages. And also here on the FB Messenger or anywhere on the social media, you can get to me. But visit our website on thomasmanton.com and... We'll look for you there in Jesus' name. Talk to you on the next broadcast. Make it a great day.